Okay, this is a 1972 Laverda 750SF1 overhead cam twin. Uh, the engine was inspired by the Honda CB777 uh, 300cc twin and the Laverda engineers felt it was the best designed motor in the world at the time and so they scaled it up firstly as a 650 which was the American Eagle which Evil Knievel famously jumps the fountains in Las Vegas on um, and then latterly a 750 it came in various guises a lower state of tune for the police and for touring the GTL and then the SF, which stood for Super Freni, which means super brakes, because it was the very strong, powerful braking, drums at both ends. They then improved it with a more powerful engine, higher compression and bigger carburettors, and better brakes designed by the Verda, which were called SF1, so Super Freni 1. The SF2 had double discs, the SF3 had triple discs to it, the front one at the back. So SS stands for Super Freni. This, in my opinion, is the best of them. Um, it's got the more powerful engine, but it's got the slightly worse brakes than the disc brake version, which makes it somewhat more exciting to ride. Uh, this engine was built for uh, competition racing and put back into road spec. So it's a very high output motor compared to a standard one, which is about 65. This is about 75. So it's about SFC, which was the full on racing version. Um, it's a proper bike. They are heavy. They weigh more than the Laverda triples, the Jota. Um, but the weights carry very low, so they handle well. They come with a single seat. Uh, there was a twin seat option as well. And Laverda being Laverda, didn't want them to break down, so they used Nippon Denso clocks, which were, of course, Japanese and used on Hondas. They originally had uh, Nippon Denso switches as well. This, these have been changed. And they also use a Bosch Dynamo and um, starter. So really what they tried to do is make them as reliable as they possibly could. So this was, if you like, the Italian BMW. Um, it's phenomenally fast it's got a very heavy gearbox and the clutch is by far the heaviest one I've ever pulled them on a motorcycle uh, they were always a weak point on the 750s and so the clutch on this one has been uprated to cope with the extra power uh, Laverda were a, a tractor company so they had their own foundry so everything they made they made themselves so nothing was bought in or sent out so these these are all made by Flam and the later models which had alloy wheels had the flam wheels but just spend a moment looking at that lovely brake i don't know about you but that does it for me and it's really cool it, this one has cody shocks which were again an aftermarket it's, it's a very common modification it probably is good for about 120 um and I reckon is a better bike to ride than the triples, but the triples, particularly the Jota, get all the um, plaudits, of course. So, let's see if it starts, shall we? If it does, it's quite loud. Typical Italian, neutral is red, <laughs> of course, and it should just be. That is a Laverda SF1 Super Freni twin.